Germany has had an affinity for bobsleds. The excitement of sliding has long been part of the Teutonic culture, much as baseball is a part of ours. There are only a dozen bob runs in the world, and four of them are in the newly unified Germany. This track, considered one of the sport's best, was built by the Stasi, the former East German secret police. They also built one of the world's finest indoor training centers. The advantages of facilities like these are evidenced by the success Germans have had in past world championships. And perhaps the German who has benefited most from these facilities? Harold Chudai. This is his home track. Chudai's brakeman in Germany, number one, Alexander Selig. And the two pushers, Tino Bonk and Axel Jung. Being on his home track, you don't expect to make a mistake like he did here in the first heat. High on the outlet of curve nine, he almost tipped over. Near disaster. They need 56-46 to take the lead. You guys, fans here in force. Time on the left is USA number two, 521. Chodai's time, 530, giving up on the time at the start. John, Chodai doesn't have that tall, lean build of most of these bobsledders. You're right, Merlin. In fact, he came from the East German kayak program, and he does a lot of skills in the offseason to prove his foot speed, like jumping rope with boxers, but one thing he's got is magical eye-hand coordination on the course, though. Smooth as he heads toward nine. Whoa, he flopped it again. He's had problems there in every heat. Look at that. The speed, 70.6. He's starting to pick it up. Yeah, you expect that of him, Merlin, because he's been down this course more than anybody else. Chodai looking for a 56-46 to take the lead. There's the speed, 75.4. That's the fastest we've seen all day. If he holds that in the finish, he will be the leader. Time is on the right. 56-15, fastest run of the day. Only nine one-hundredths off the course record. Harold Chudai in Germany number one take the lead. I thought he was making a mistake at curve nine when it slid flops here, but with all the speed he had on the bottom, this might be the fastest line. Chudai congratulating his crew. He is the current leader. But next up, Wolfgang Hoppe. Two gold medals from the 84 Olympics, two silvers from the 88 Olympics, 11 years of driving experience. Compare that to Brian Scheimer. In my opinion, it takes five years to develop world-class driving skills. There's no real minor league development system in this sport. You just have to come out here on the World Cup circuit and do it. Now, this man has done it. Hope he's brakeman on Germany, too. The only West German in this group, Christoph Langen. The two side pushers, Bogdan Musial and Axel Kuhn. Remember, Hope and Gustav Bader tied after three runs. Hope needs a 56-23 to take the lead over Chuda. Strong, powerful starter. Hope he's always been in his career. 5-26. Now, that's better than Germany number one. that just came down at 5-30. Hope told us he'd been disappointed in his performance over the past couple of seasons. Talked about taking what he called a creative pause after the season to see if he could regain that winning form. He wasn't running very well in practice all week. I picked him to finish fourth. He was fourth in the first heat, but first in the next two. He's driving smoothly here. Oh, that same drop. That's that fast line you talked about earlier with Chudai. He doesn't have the same speed as Chudai, 70.4, but he's got that start advantage. Bang there. Gets pretty smooth. Good transition. And I guess corners. What's the speed? 74.8. He's not as fast as Chodai. This is going to be real close. He needs a 56-23 to overcome Chodai. Watch it here. 56-10. Yeah. Only four one hundredths off the course record. And Wolfgang Huppy in Germany number two steps into the lead. Look how low they are at the start. Look at him explode out of here. Great cohesiveness. And the 400s advantage he had at the start is why he won at the bottom. Now here at a curve nine is that fast line we talked about the Germans take. It's on the edge, but it's the fastest way to get to the bottom. So Wolfgang Hopi has done his part safely at the bottom. He now must wait for this man, Gustav Bader, the defending world champion, looking to make bobsledding history. We Brits are learning your American football. Right, Joe? Yeah. Right. Oh. Ooh, the other way! Catch the ball! And after practice, we drink a great American beer. Miller Lite. Miller Lite, with its crisp, refreshing Pilsner taste, 
It's everything you want in a beer today. What are they doing now? They're practicing touchdowns. Before they could walk, they wanted to dance. Before they could talk, they wanted to sing. But they needed a lot of heart and desire before they could get to Broadway and make it on a chorus line. Now this Broadway legend is back and on tour. But if you want tickets, get to the box office early and get out your Visa card. Because this show won't be in town long. And it won't take American Express. It's everywhere you want. One of the best remains. The leader, Wolfgang Hoppy, waits anxiously at the bottom of the mountain. And up on top, the pilot of Switzerland number one, Gustav Bader, is on the verge of bobsled history. Working together, these four men have won back-to-back -back world championships. No one has ever won three in a row. Eight pilots have been on this threshold before, and all eight have failed. Vader was in the same situation in the two-man championship, made some driving mistakes on his last run, and it cost him the gold medal. Very mystical approach to sled building. He says he likes to merge his mind and material. His hobby is to build them, his profession is to race them. Time on the left is Hoppe's, on the right, Vader's, and in the middle we should see the difference. There it is, plus six. Vader is behind. Same speed as Hoppe, but he's lost that start advantage. He told us he was afraid his sled was not as fast as the two German sleds. He might be right on the bottom. He's losing more speed to Hoppy. 74.5. He's losing more speed. Vader needs a 56.09 to win his third straight world championship. No! 56.22. Vader will not make history here today. The new world champion is Wolfgang Hoppe. Wolfgang Hoppe has never before won a four-man world championship. The disappointed but gracious defending champion Gustav Vader will wear the silver. So the final standings show us Germany 2 over Switzerland 1 by 12 one hundredths of a second. Standing by with the winner, John Morgan. When did you think you had a chance to win the competition? When did you think you had a chance to win the competition? Normalerweise had I das gedacht nie, aber gehofft, dass ich auf jeden Fall bis vorne rankomme. Die Trainingsergebnisse waren nicht so optimistisch. Die einzigen, wie gesagt, die hinter mir standen, waren die Trainer und die Athleten, die auf meinen Schlitten sitzen. Und äh, wir haben uns halt zusammengerissen. I certainly was hoping it the whole time. I never really thought it would happen. The trainings weren't as great, but we just got it all together at the end. Champion of the world, Wolfgang Hoppe. Nice comeback. Wolfgang Hoppe's victory most popular with this German crowd. And while he had the most speed at the bottom of the course, the speed at the top of the mountain belonged to USA number two, who predicted they would have the fastest start time. And then today, they backed it up as Brian Scheimer's team finished seventh in the competition. USA number one with Chuck Leonowitz finished in 11th position. John, your final thoughts. Well, the same three pilots that won the medals were the guys that battled it out last year in San Moritz. Chodai, Hopi, Vader, a little different result this time. But I tell you, next year in Albertville, I think it's going to be the same three guys at the top of the leaderboard. And the Americans? Most impressive, the 50-meter starts, why they finished seventh. And for Gall to come in here and Moses to come in here and do this, is really, really great things for the U.S. program in the future. Scheimer himself, though, let's give him a pat in the back. He's the first American pilot to finish in the top ten of the world championships in both the two-man and the four-man since 1969. That says well, perhaps the Americans can look for a medal in bobsledding in 92 in the Olympics. So once again, Wolfgang Hoppe and Germany number two have just been crowned the 1991 world champion of four men.